Hello, thank you for joining me on Cooped Up with the Carter. I'm Megan, a gallery teacher at the Carter Museum, and today we're gonna to be talking about Arthur Dove's The Lobster. Now this is one of my favorite paintings because we're looking at food. It's amazing. Now this is a still life painting. For my friends that are not familiar with that term, still life painting is a painting of objects. It could be food, it could be fruit, it could be flowers. Anything you find around your home that is not living, that would be a still life painting. Now what are you seeing in this particular still life painting? Are there things that you're recognizing? Yeah, we have some grapes. We have a lobster, we have melon. Are you noticing any kind of furry things crawling around? Yeah, there's actually a squirrel on the background. It looks like he's climbing up a little branch there. There's flowers too. Now, I want you to really look closely at all of these objects on the table, all of these wonderful, delicious foods. What kind of meal do you think this is? Yeah, I'm thinking this is probably a pretty formal dinner. This is not what I eat every single day at home. Now, look really closely at this table again. Do you think this table is set inside or is it placed outside? This is a tricky question. Now, this table is actually set inside, but with all the beautiful florals in the background, it makes it look like it's outside, but that's really just wallpaper. Now, in my home, I don't have wallpaper set up, but in some older homes, you would have found that that would have been a really luxurious touch at the time. Now, let's talk a little bit about style. This painting was very unusual at the time it was created in 1908. Look at how the fruit is painted. It's not super realistic. It doesn't look like you could just reach into this and pick up one of those and bite it like you would find in some earlier still life paintings. Instead, Arthur Dove has used really bright, bold colors, really thick outlines, showing off a new style of art that he picked up during his travels in France. He's really looking to the style of artists like Cezanne and Matisse when painting this. Now when he painted this in 1908, it was very well received in France, but when he showed it in the United States at the time, it was not terribly popular. But nowadays we've come to appreciate his beautiful, more modern style. Thank you so much for joining me on Cooped Up with the Carter. I'm Monica, a bilingual gallery teacher at the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art. Today on Cooped Up with the Carter, we will be drawing our own still lives inspired by Arthur Dove's The Lobster. With the help of my family, Hi, I'm Daddy Lab. I'm Anna. We went around our home and chose some of our favorite objects and arranged them in an interesting way. Take some time to do this with your family. Now remember that Arthur Dove chose very bright colors and lots of textures, so be sure to include objects that are very vibrant and interesting. I chose some apples with lots of different colors and this basket with lots of pattern and textures. And I chose this colorful um, scented um, candle. And my favorite cup that its name is Chip of the Maybe Apple. Mm -hmm. A few more things you'll need are a pencil, a piece of paper to draw on, some colored pencils, a pencil sharpener, and a dark colored marker for our very last step. Let's get started. So what you want to do first, you want to mark kind of the objects that you have just to kind of get a sense of the size and where everything's going to fit. And these are going to be very faint lines and you just want to start out with very basic lines, so circles, lines, dashes. And you just want to go over a few more lines just to get the shape. Now Arthur Dove's work was influenced by um, Matisse and so all of his lines are very um, loose. 
Okay, so our step two is going to be filling in the rest of the shapes. So just getting the general layout of your still life. Now I don't have a fancy lobster in mind, but I chose some objects, or we chose as a family, chose objects that had different shapes and textures too. So just a reminder of that. Next step, after we've drawn in all of our objects, we're gonna go ahead and start adding color. As you see here, I've started with my fruits and really use my basic colors such as red and yellows to mimic the texture and the colors on the apples, the green. You want to be sure that you're focusing on your source of light too. So mine is right above. So all of my objects are going to have a darker shade underneath them in my drawing. So just like I did here. It can be really fun to focus on the details, kind of like Galilea's mug right here. Chip has a little smile on him. So I went ahead and drew that, and then I am moving on to my sweet peppers over here. Sometimes you really need to press down on your color to get a rich shade in here. Later on, we'll focus on the heavy outlines of each of the objects to really make them stand out. So what you can do with the color to help that right now is go around on the outside and really push in with your colors. Once you have filled in all of your objects with color, we are going to focus on um, Arthur Dove's painting. And so he had a lot of textures and patterns. He had the beautiful squirrel up in the top of the wallpaper. Now, I don't have any fancy wallpaper here and my table is just a solid color. But I'm gonna go in and add some designs. Maybe some swirls. So these will kind of anchor your, your drawing onto a space. You could also do a table here. Kind of cut off the object so they look like they're actually sitting on a table that, um, so you're looking at a different angle from it. Nothing fancy, just something to fill out the top and maybe the bottom, let's see. Just some splashes of color to fill out your entire page. Now, Arthur Dove was inspired by Matisse and by Cezanne, so their use of color you can really play with. Um, layering and mixing color, just add, adding little splashes of color here and there to fill out your entire page. But now for my favorite step, you're going to take your black marker or your dark marker and you're going to choose some of the lines, some of your favorite lines in the piece to really make them stand out. And you can even go further with the patterns on these just to add more depth into your drawing. And there you have it, your very own still life inspired by Arthur Dove's The Lobster. Thanks for tuning in to Cooped Up with the Carter.